It's uh, June 15th, 2017. We're in Kenya at Manyata Boys High School. Uh, and we're here with Michael and Maxwell. And the first thing we're going to do is give you some gifts. All right. I have one of these for each of you. Um, a student of mine named Anthony, he made a whole bunch of these to give to Dago students. So in each one, you have some pencils, a pen, an eraser, and there's a pencil sharpener in there somewhere, right right there, the yellow one, right there. So each of you have that. That's a gift for you to keep here, okay? Yes. Okay, so what, give that to Bunny to hold. Give that to, give, give that to Bunny, yes. Yeah, I'll hold it. Right. He'll hold it. I'll give it back to you. Yeah. Okay. All right, and this one, Michael, we got some dirt on here. I apologize for that. This is from my brother and I, Bunny and I. Um, we have some money for you. Okay, <laughs> as soon as you say money, the big smiles. Yes, yeah, okay. Um, okay, not money for you, though. Okay, all right, you each have a thousand shillings there. Okay, first, we want to make sure you put it someplace safe so no one can steal it. Maxwell, where are you going to put that? Where, where will you put it? Like, with me. I will take it to the bus side. Bus side, okay. okay. Yes. Is that what you'll do too? Me, I take to the senior master to keep. To the where? Senior master. The something master, okay. The, okay, that sounds good. All right, yeah, we, we need, okay. Um, okay. All right, uh, uh, Maxwell, what yes. would you like to yes. buy? I'll, I'll hold these. Yeah, let Bunny hold it. He'll get it back. Make sure yes. he likes to steal money. So don't let him steal it, okay? Yes. Okay? Yes. Yes. All right, okay. <laughs> Maxwell, what would you like to buy with that money? What would you want to want to buy? Books? What would you like to buy? In my box. No. No. With a thousand shillings, yes. what would you like to buy? I would like to buy. Real loud, talk into the mic. And look at George. George. I would like to buy some storybooks. Storybooks? Good. Yes, to read at the lesser time. I have lesser time. Good when you have free time. Yes, at, good. at home and both at school. That's, That's good. Great. That will help you in, in English, uh, the English books, Kiswahili. Yes, to improve my languages. Yes, good. Yes. Okay. All right, give, give, Michael, give Michael the microphone. Michael, what are you going to buy with your money? Uh, this is my money. After I've received it like this, I know if I go back home, I try to, to bring a small business, I can uh, keep it somewhere so that one day I invest it in something that can bring life in, to me in future days. What, what kind of investment? Have you thought about that? Uh, I will uh, keep it somewhere so that if I've collected some, I can b buy even something like a ship. Okay. So that I can okay. rear it and see it. Okay. Right. Did you ever think of putting it in the bank, <laughs> and then the bank can pay you interest? <laughs> yes. Do you know that? Do you know, put it in the like I have money in the bank, and they pay me interest, more money on it. Can yes. you do that? Yes, Good. I can do that. Good. Okay. So let's go. Um, both of you know, a lot of people in the United States donated money so you two could go to high school. So Michael, we'll start with you. What would you like to say to the people in the United States who donated money? So say it real loud and look at George. I would say to them that uh, it is a great thank that I will offer to, I'll have to offer to them because I know with them I could not have reached at this stage. So I just say thank and may God give them life to stay and also to support us until we reach the air destiny. Okay, thank you. Why don't you give it to Maxwell? A real loud Maxwell, tell the people what you'd like to say. I as Maxwell, we, I want to take this golden opportunity to thank you for the, for the reason that you have put on to us to be here at Manyata. And it, it is a great thanks that if it were not you, we could have not reached this rank. And you have the same you have the same spirit and continue with it. Thanks. Okay, very yes. good. Thanks, well guys. Done. Okay. Well, well done. All right, uh, just hold it. Okay, um, this is my fifth time in Kenya. Back in the United States, people are always asking me, tell us about Kenya. What are the people like? What's the food like? What is the geography like? 
Maxwell, what would you like people in the United States to know about Kenya? So tell them there, what would you like them to know? Kenya is a, a good country because there is peace and there is main development, e.g. the infrastructure, e.g. roads. And we also have the tourist attraction centers, e.g. Masai Mara. Yes, there are many things. Yeah, look at the camera. There are many things that Kenya has developed with. And this has enabled the the this has enabled the Europeans to visit us and there is peace that we have put on to them. Thanks. Okay, thank Great. you. Awesome. Give it to Michael. Perfect. Michael, what would you want to say to the people who donated money? Um, what I would like to tell them about Kenya is that... Oh, I'm sorry, it's about Kenya. I'm, my bad, I'm sorry. Yes. About Kenya. And what I want to tell them about Kenya, even if you see, we receive a, a, a long day sunlight, yeah? and I know there it is a bit cold. So <laughs> <laughs> I would like to ask them that we, Kenya also provide uh, places for procre uh, recreation. They can come and, uh, and enjoy and warm themselves by this our sun that God made. Very good. Okay, fine. Okay, well, okay. hold on to it there. Um, what questions would you like to ask Bunny and I about bu what Bunny does or what I do or about the United uh, States? And I showed him a map of the United States. Oh, you did show him already? Yeah, okay. Where you lived and I lived. Okay. okay, so what would you like to know about the United States? What would you like to ask? In United States, we know, we want to know how the life is there and the condition, the, the condition is the climate that okay. is there. Okay. And we, we would also like to know more about the development that is taking place there for us one day to approach it. Okay, good. Yeah. Why do you want to start? Yeah. So uh, in the United States, for weather, you know, we have four seasons. We're currently in what we call spring season. Spring is when all the flowers bloom and the trees get all green. And then we go from spring to summer. Summer is more like weather in Kenya. Where Brett lives, it's hotter in the summer, more humid than Kenya. Where I live in California, about the same weather and same, not, not as humid where he lives. And then we go to fall. They call it fall because the leaves come off the trees. They turn pretty colors. It starts to get colder and the leaves fall off on the ground and there's no leaves on the tree. And then winter. Winter is very cold. Where Brett lives, like there's snow, snowball. Has anybody ever seen snow? Yes. Yeah, uh, where water freezes. So very, very cold. And uh, those are the four seasons. Uh, it's very different than life in Kenya. And then in the United States, we, we're very fortunate. The country has uh, great capability. It's a free country like Kenya. We're free to vote for a president to the United States. Uh, and there's lots of resources. We have electricity, ho uh, water, uh, plumbing in every, in every home. So different than from all Kenyans, almost all Americans have easy access to that. And then they the internet that I showed you, which was on the phone, most Americans have access to that. And that's how they communicate, either voice or through this email that we were talking about, or just learn. So they, you know, it's easy for American kids to learn a lot about Kenya. All they have to do is say, tell me about Kenya, and it comes back. So we hope you will have all those same capabilities in Kenya one day. Yes. Yeah. We also, most people in America own cars. Or not a lot of Kenyans own cars, but almost everybody in America owns cars. That's hard to, yeah, that's, that's very, yeah, okay. That's good. All right, what else would you like to know about the United States? Michael, anything from you? In the United States, I would like to know how the people around, uh, or the people within the U.S., have managed to improve their technology that we also 
Kenyans can apply in order to improve the economy of Kenya. Okay, um, in Kenya, most people are farmers. Yes. Long time ago in the United States, most people were farmers. But today, only a small percentage of people are farmers. And that's because of technology. Farmers have the latest in technology. So just a small number of farmers can actually feed the whole world. A small number of U.S. farmers can feed the whole world. So our economy is much more developed than yours. We have lots of people and what we call you know, professional kinds of jobs, whether it be teachers, doctors, lawyers, uh, investors, things like that. So we have, we, have, um, we have lots of stores, retail stores where you go to buy things. Mm. Our economy is much more developed. Kenya will get there, but there's a lot more job opportunities in a place like the United States and a lot more opportunities to make a lot of money. And hopefully Kenya will get to that soon. You know, is that why they have their uh, economy uh, is high? Yes, yeah. and we're blessed we have a lot of resources. Farmers grow mostly, well, kind of in the middle, middle, uh, the middle part of the country where I live, but also a lot in California where Bunny lives, and the land is very good. It's very good land. We're very blessed for that. All right, so yeah, we're, well, and, you know, I tell my students all the time that we're just blessed. We're really lucky in the United States. Bunny and I were born, our, our parents, Bernie and Elsie, we, the scholarship is named after them. They grew up very poor, but they worked really hard and they made sure that, that I and Bunny and we have another brother that we all had university education and we've had a great life. And that's why we're trying to help you guys do the same thing. And one, yes. one opportunity could be that if you do really well, you could apply someday to a United States University. Yes. So that I can also ferry the other side. Yes, right. Uh, yes. Right. We have I'm, lots of students that come from all over the world. Yeah, and some United from States. Kenya. Some from Kenya. Yeah. And yeah. so as you learn more and get closer to that age, you should look into that and we can help figure out how to do that. Mm, that's okay. great. Yeah. Anything else you want to, any questions or anything else you want to say? Because lots of people will watch this video. So any other questions or anything else that you just want to say? Um, the question I would ask to is that um, I know this is not the last time you visit us. No, I'll be here again, sure. You'll be again. Yeah, you've seen me several times. Because mm -hmm. I, let's see, when you were in class seven, I saw you. Yes. And then in, and then in form two, or form one, form one, and now form three. Yes. You'll see me again. That's Are you great. Coming back to Dago this week? Yes. Both of you? Oh, good, yeah. yeah. So we'll see you there. Yeah, next week we'll, 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 we'll still be there. You yeah. can ask us more questions. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Maxwell, anything else you want to ask or anything else you want to say? With me, I want, will just want to tell you that with us, without you, we could not reach at this level. And it is God that has come between you to put us to be in this level. And you should continue with the same spirit. Yes. Okay. You yes. know, that's really nice of you to say, but we're lucky. Yeah. We're lucky to have an opportunity to be in your lives. Yes. We feel very good. My brothers worked very hard to get the foundation off the ground, but it's only fun and rewarding when we meet you and watch your success. Yes. Okay. Last thing, what do you do for fun when you want to have fun? Just what? fun. Do you sing? Do you during, play sports? During my free time. In fact, with me, I train to be a pastor. You train to be a pastor? Okay. Yes. Ah, That's what I train to be, that if God wishes, I will also be someone who can preach the word. Okay, good. Yes. Don't you get Maxwell? What do you do with your free time? In my free time, I take my friends, my colleagues, then we sit under a shed with story about the importance of the knowledge that we will gain in the future. Yes, for, and we have the good 
for us to have the good characters. Yes, we advise ourselves not to be the, okay. not to be bad students. Good. And that has enabled us to be in a good condition and not okay. falling in many mistakes in school. That's great. I just want to show you one thing. This is, you know, I showed you the internet. I showed you the United States. This is a thing called Wikipedia. And this, whoop. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there. All right, hang on. Okay. This will allow you to get access to anything in the world in English, Chinese, Russian, Italian, Spanish, German, French, and Japanese. And if you just type in this little line up here, history of Kenya, it would bring up everything about Kenya. Mm -hmm. This is the, what young people in the United States learn, how they learn with teachers helping them. Okay? Yes. Okay. All right. I think we're about ready to end. So, George, thank you very much. We can end now.